let us start our first exercise in this course by setting up the Ionic framework on our computer. Before you set up Ionic Framework, make sure that you have installed Node, Gulp, and Bower from your earlier courses. We would need these tools in order for Ionic Framework to work. If you are just beginning this course, may I suggest that you install the latest version of Node from the Node.js site, nodejs.org. Uh, install the long-term uh, support version 4.2.3 um, so that you will we will all have a common uh, base from which we are starting. So to ensure that you have node installed at the command prompt, type in node minus v and npm minus v. So this is what I have at the moment on my machine. And also I am making sure that I have gulp and I also have um, Bower installed. Everything is set for me to proceed forward. Now, at the command prompt, in order to install uh, the Ionic framework, at the command prompt, type npm install Cordova Ionic minus G. Now, if you are doing this on an OS X or a Linux machine, make sure to use sudo in front of it and wait patiently until the installation is completed. Once the installation is completed, let's go ahead and create a starter project using Ionic. To do that, go to a convenient location on your computer. Here, I'm going to a standard location where I store all my uh, course-related projects. I, I have been using this location for my previous course on AngularJS, so you can see that I have a folder named Confusion there. I'm going to leave it as it is because you would need some of the code that you did in the Angular course again for this Ionic course. Uh, if you are doing this Ionic course from scratch, then um, I would give you all the code necessary to get started in this Ionic course. But I would strongly advise you to complete the Bootstrap and the Angular JS course in the specialization before proceeding ahead with this course on Ionic and Cordova. So at uh, this um, location, create a new folder named Ionic. I'm going to create inside this Ionic folder another folder named Confusion, and then I will have my uh, Ionic project in that folder. Switching back to the terminal, let me move to the Ionic folder. And at the command prompt, in order to create a new project, we will type in Ionic start confusion and side menu. And let Ionic scaffold out the Ionic project named confusion. Now, later on, we will go in and then make changes to this project in order to configure our Confusion app. Once the creation of the project is complete, then we have a scaffolded out Ionic application for us to begin with. Let's move to this folder named Confusion. And you would see that there are a bunch of files that have already been pre-configured by Ionic there. Ionic scaffolding out is 
like what we have done with Yo in the previous course. So it builds up a starter project for us, and then we can go ahead and then modify the starter project to start up our project. Now, if you want to see what the starter project looks like, at the command prompt, you can just type in ion, ionic serve, and then this will start up a server and serve up the project. So let's do that. And then this will show you the resulting project in your favorite browser. So here you can see that this starter project with the, with the side menu project that we just created creates this project with a side menu on the left side and then a list of items here. And so you can see that this is a ready to uh, use Ionic project. Now, obviously, we want to create our own Confusion um, app here, but this gives us some basic idea of how you would create an Ionic project. Let's examine some of the files in this um, folder to understand how this Ionic project folder is organized. Now, going to the Ionic folder in your um, uh, either Windows Explorer or Finder on OS X or your um, um, file browser in Linux, you can see that there is a folder there named Confusion. Let's go into that folder and you would see that there are already many files that have been created by Ionic on your behalf. So Ionic has, you You can, if you have taken the previous courses, you would see that there is a bower.json file, there is a package.json file, there is a gulp file already there. There is a file called ionic.project there that contains some configuration information for our Ionic project. Now, in particular, when we are creating or editing our project, we are going to go into this folder named www. Now, this is where our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code resides in our Ionic project. Later on, we will learn more about how you would actually take this code that you create here and then build the app for both Android and iOS um, platforms. But for the moment, let's just stay with this. Now, we are going to initially uh, in the exercises, we're going to modify things in this folder called www, and then we will use Ionic Serve to view the folder or view the project in our browser. Later on, we will see how we can deploy it to real devices. Going into this www folder, you would see that there is an index.html file. And then there is a CSS folder which contains some CSS code. There is an image folder that contains images that you use within your application. There is a JS folder which contains some JavaScript. So you, you can see that there's an app.js and controllers.js. From the Angular course, you can already guess what these should contain. So this contains the starter code that Ionic provides for the starter project that we just created. But obviously, for the Confusion app that we're going to create, we're going to go and modify the contents of these uh, files there. In addition, you would see that there is a folder named Templates. In the uh, Angular course, we used a folder named Views in order to store all our templates. Ionic uses the name Templates for that folder. So in there, you would see a bunch of um, Angular templates are already available for you. These templates are being used by the starter project. We are obviously going to substitute all these templates with our own templates for the Confusion app. Finally, there is this folder called Lib. If you go into the Lib folder, you would see that there is a uh, folder named Ionic. This is where all the Ionic related material, including Angular um, uh, JS files and Ionix CSS files and all those exist here. Now, you are not going to be touching any of these things and you should not be modifying any of these files. You can just look at them. Uh, 
when you make Ionic build your applications for both Android and iOS, it will make use of all these files automatically in order to create the applications, the apps for Android and iOS. So similarly, you will see fonts here. So these are all fonts that are supplied by Ionic. So in the CSS, you see that there is an Ionic uh, CSS file there. And then in the JavaScript, you can see that you have Ionic's own JavaScript code here, Ionic's um, version. And then you have some Angular um, files here already. Some of these are automatically included by Ionic. Some of them you may need to include explicitly within your application. We will see as we progress further. Ionic uses the Angular's UI router. So from the previous course, you know what Angular UI router is. So this Angular UI related material is stored in here. So you can see that the Angular UI router.js file exists here already. And then the SCSS contains all the uh, Ionix um, code in the SAS format. So if you want to make any changes to the default CSS that Ionic provides, you would edit the SAS files here and then configure and compile your own version of the CSS uh, if you choose to. Initially, we won't be touching these. We will keep them as such. But later on, if you want to customize your own Ionic app with your own configuration for the CSS, then by all means, you can edit these files. So this gives you a quick tour of the folder that Ionic just created with the project. We have seen the result of this project in the browser. So again, revisiting our browser, you can see that in the browser, you have a side menu that is being displayed. So for example, you can just drag in the side menu. So this is the kind of interaction that you would see in a mobile application. So you see that Ionic has already given you some starter code and templates to begin building your application. In the next set of exercises, we're going to transform this application into the Confusion app that we actually want to create to learn more about Ionic. So with this, we complete this first exercise where we installed the Ionic framework and then scaffolded out a starter project for our course.